So the passenger journey through Abu Dhabi Airport in the transit, it will be seamless and very safe and healthy. We are implementing a comprehensive uh, range of uh, procedures and measures uh, to uh, implement all the directive that has been implemented from our governments and also the international entities. Most of the time, uh, we are uh, trying to have it, uh, less inter interaction between the passengers and also the employees in the airport. Also, at the same time, when you are entering to the country, there is, we just adding about five to ten minutes uh, to the journey of the, uh, of the passengers to in Abu Dhabi. Some of uh, the flying also procedures has been becomes also seamless. Uh, some of the tests has been implemented when you are coming into the country. But we are trying by adding a lot of uh, state of the art technology to uh, avoid and to, to, to make it uh, health and safety for our passengers and also our stakeholders and employees. Mohammed, there's a lot of rumor about when more flights will be opening up. Most folks say that we're going to be sitting here a little bit longer, a couple of weeks potentially, um, until the more flights are added to the roster, not just of Etihad, but Emirates as well. What's your sense of when that could potentially happen, when you're going to see more airport traffic of passengers heading from Abu Dhabi to external uh, destinations? From, from the uh, mid of June, uh, Emirates Airlines, Etihad Airlines, all of them, they are starting to have uh, to increase their schedules. So I, I believe that uh, it is starting and it will be increased uh, potentially in the end of this month. Uh, a lot of them, they are also adding some, a lot of destinations. It's something they are, they are signing a lot of MOUs with the other countries. So they, we also in Abu Dhabi airports, we are trying uh, to enhance and uh, to uh, do whatever that we need to do to make it easier for the passengers when they are traveling through our airports. Tell us about some of the technology you're deploying at the airport to help with things like cleaning and sanitizing, etc. From the clinic perspective, we are enhancing it and it's coming on the spot every time, every hour. So a lot of disinfections and a lot of uh, uh, cleaning measures and uh, sanitizing also offices, places and counters. At the same time, we added, we, we implemented a state of art of the technology uh, to make it health and safety for the passengers, such as uh, we are partnered with the Tawazan uh, funds to, uh, uh, to implement an un unmanned uh, vehicle of uh, sanitizing and disinfections. There is thermal cameras, there is a, a facial recognition, uh, uh, heat detectors, uh, uh, touchless uh, elevators. So a lot of them that we are trying to uh, make it uh, healthy, safer for our passengers. Dubai Airport, we spoke to them a few weeks ago and they said that social distancing would be ruinous for airports going forward if it has to be enforced like this for some time. Would you agree with that? I agree that uh, we are following uh, the directives of the government and the health department, such as uh, Department of Health and Ministry of Health. Social distance, distancing, it is mandatory in our airports and I think in all air, uh, airports. It's a very, very high measure to be implemented uh, to avoid uh, passenger uh, traffic? Uh, spreading of the curve. But do you think, Mohammed, that's going to hurt our passenger airports, traffic? In our airports, I don't think so. The fact that you've got a social distance. In our airports, I don't think so. In our airports, I don't think it will hurt because you have the space, you should maintain it, you should make it in a right, nice journey for these passengers. It is all about uh, organization and how do you manage it. I don't think that it will hurt to the passengers. Mom, and, and before we let you go, I want to ask you, um, what does a passenger need to know if they're headed to Abu Dhabi Airport to leave the country? What do they need to take with them? What do they need to do? Uh, because we have heard several stories about people being turned away, not just at uh, Abu Dhabi Airport, but also um, in Dubai, people with tickets. What is it that they need to have with them? In Abu Dhabi airports, they should come at least a minimum of three hours before the flights. They should maintain wearing the gloves uh, and masks. The mandatory is the masks. If they don't have it, we, we, we will provide it to, it, uh, to, the, to the passengers. It's only to make sure that they have their tickets and they are already checked in, uh, online if they can, if they cannot. So we, are, we will provide it here, uh, seamless for them. So it's nothing to worry about. You just come to Abu Dhabi airports and we will help you on that.
When do you see demand at the Abu Dhabi airport returning to pre-COVID-19 levels? What are your plans telling you that might look like? To be honest, I cannot assure you a timeline, but we are telling you that we are ready from now to start uh, make it uh, healthy and safer for our passengers. It depends on what is the new directive will come, but actually we are maintaining the, the most the, 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 the st uh, state of the art of everything to, be, to make it easier for the passengers. I think that uh, uh, in the near soon, uh, flights will increase and uh, also uh, airlines will get to recover and we will help them in that.